Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2020 moveset guide. Now, if you guys are new to VGC, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to this channel because I'll be putting out as much VGC content as I can for you in the coming days. These are all pre-recorded at the moment though because I am on vacation, but if you want to know how to use a particular Pokemon in the format, be sure to comment it down below. And let me know what you think, what you guys think about Duraludon in the comment section as well. I personally think it's a huge threat in the metagame, especially with the new Dynamax mechanic. It has a couple of things that it can pull off to really take full advantage of it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Duraludon is really cool. It's a Dragon Steel type Pokemon, and when everyone saw it, pretty much we all thought that it was going to be really slow and really bulky with a mediocre special attack stat uh, and like low attack, but. Somehow Game Freak surprised us. It's shockingly fast for what the design is, and uh, it actually has a decent attack stat. So the first that I have for you guys today, which I have three of, uh, is going to be this weakness policy set. Now, while my other moveset guides weren't as particular about EVs, you'll find that the moveset guides coming out in the next couple of days are going to be very particular. Because now that we've had an unofficial tournament and we've seen usage stats for what's available online and like what people are generally leaning towards, we know what to prepare for. So all of these are sets that I made and uh, that I'm sharing with you, of course, because I decided to take time out of my day to make EV spreads for Duraludon. And honestly, I'm gonna use them anyways, but let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. He has a couple of really cool abilities, light metal, heavy metal, and stalwart. Now, light metal halves your, uh, your uh, weight, so that way you can take less damage from things like heavy slam or low kick. Heavy Metal doubles your weight so you can take advantage of um, taking, <laughs> what am I saying? So you can take less damage from, from Heavy Slam. Like lo You take less damage uh, with Light Metal from Low Kick, but you take more damage because of Light Metal because your weight is abbed. I got them mixed up. But with Heavy Metal, you'll take less from Heavy Slam and other weight-based moves like Heat Crash. And uh, you'll also be able to deal more damage with Heavy Slam, which I don't know if this thing gets. Um, but yeah, if you're going for Heavy Slam, you'll be able to deal more damage. But its final ability is also really cool. It's called Stalwart, and it's one of the first of its kind. Uh, it basically just says that if a move is trying to get redirected via Spotlight or Rage Powder or Follow Me, this Pokemon will just ignore it. It, it doesn't care. It's going to go for the attack into the Pokemon that it was originally targeting. But for this set, we're going to be going with Light Metal, so that way we can take less damage from Low Kick. And that's because we're, be, we're going to be running a Weakness Policy set. Now, with 70 HP, 115 defense, and 50 special defense, we're going to need to make sure that um, we can live a couple hits on the special side, but I honestly don't think that that's even po like possible. With 70 HP and 50 special defense, an earth power without some kind of item to lower that with like a sugar berry or an assault vest, we're going to be taking a lot of damage anyways, and it's not really worth EVing that much into it. So I decided to make an offensive weakness policy set leaning more towards the physical defense side because one of the most popular Pokemon in the format at the moment is Excadrill. Now Excadrill is usually running a Life Orb or a Focus Sash. So if it goes for Life Orb Earthquake with 252 HP and 116 defense, you're guaranteed to live it. And even if it goes for Life Orb Drill Run, which is more powerful than Earthquake because it's not a spread move, you will also be able to live it. So I calc for Life Orb, worst case scenario, you'll end up having to face a Choice Band one, but that isn't all that common. So like nine times out of 10, you'll be able to live ground type moves from Excadrill. We have 124 special attack, that's just dumped. We want to deal as much damage as we can. Uh, we have 12 speed, that is specifically to outspeed the Rotoms because Rotom is within a speed tier where if they have no speed investment, we'll be able to just get them with that 12 speed. Uh, they're very they're very bulky Pokemon, so some people won't run any speed. They'll just go for like a physically defensive or especially defensive Rotom, or even just a bulky offensive one. Uh, but you could also see faster Rotoms, but this is more just for the slow Rotoms. Draco Meteor, Flash Cannon are our two stab moves. Protect is just to let us uh, either make the situation more ideal for getting our weakness policy off. Like if we want to protect and send out Hitmontop as an Intimidator, uh, then we can more easily live in an Earthquake from a Excadrill. And Thunderbolt is there, so that way we can hit Water types, which uh, our other two stabs, Flash Cannons resisted, and Water types generally take Draco Meteors a bit better than most Pokemon because they're high special defense, so Thunderbolt will end up doing more. Uh, the weakness policy will be boosting our 124 special attack stat. That isn't really, or our 124 uh, 
special attack EV investment. Uh, and that isn't for anything in particular. That's just so we can deal as much damage as we can. The four special defense is just dumped from what I couldn't put into special attack. So yeah. Now, the reason that this Pokemon is so good with weakness policy is because you can make it possible to live very, very strong special moves like Earth Power simply by going for a Dynamax. If you go for Dynamax with Duraludon, you're going to be living insane hits like plus one Earth Power. Uh, it's just... Like, Gastrodon is this thing's scariest threat, and that's really saying something. Um, like, like yeah, uh, Excadrill is scary too, but because of your high physical defense, it's like a non-issue most of the time. If this thing had access to fire-type moves, it would be kind of busted, because it would be able to deal with uh, Excadrill. And in case of you guys are wondering, plus two Draco Meteor from this thing uh, will not Oko Excadrill, but if you do manage to get like 20% off on it, you'll be able to KO. The bold nature is just to boost our physical defense stat, by the way, guys. Um, I could have gone with a modest nature, but we would have been wasting EVs that way. So yeah, this thing, insane with the weakness policy. I I can't really stress enough. You'll be able to Oko really crazy things. Uh, I believe you can even Oko Assault Vest Hitmontop with this set, with Draco Meteor at plus two, but don't quote me on that. I didn't count for that. It's just something that seems in the realm of possibility. So this next set is actually an Assault Vest set. We have really low special defense. We really don't want to take special hits, but this set in particular is just meant to be um, sort of an offensive and supportive Assault Vest set. It gets access to two really cool moves, Breaking Swipe and Snarl. Breaking Swipe will lower the attack stats of both of your opponent's Pokemon, and Snarl will lower the special attack stats of both of your opponent's Pokemon. It's pretty rare to see this move on the same Pokemon, especially since Breaking Swipe is a brand new move. Um, it's pretty rare to see both Snarl and Breaking Swipe available for one species. Uh, Draco Meteor and Flash Cannon are just two stab moves. 252 HP, 4 defense, 140 special attack, 100 special defense, and 12 speed with a modest nature will allow us to be pretty offensive, but once again, outspeeding zero speed investment Rotom in all Pokemon slower than us. Um, that's going to allow us to get Snarls off. Uh, with our Assault Vest and 100 Special Defense with 252 HP, we're guaranteed to live Modest Max Special Attack uh, Earth Power from Rotom. And we're also going to be able to take non-Life Orb hits from Excadrill. I believe we live both of those, both uh, Adamant, non-Life Orb, Drill Run, and Earthquake, as long as there's another Pokemon in the field to reduce the damage of Earthquake since it's a spread move. The 140 special attack is just dumped once again. Uh, it's not really meant to be a pure offensive Pokemon. Of course, we do have those two supporting moves. And with that little bit of speed investment, uh, because this Pokedex is generally pretty slow, we're going to be able to get off Snarl and Breaking Swipe pretty pretty consistently before our opponent attacks. So while I didn't expect this at the beginning of the season, uh, Duraldon might be an important Pokemon on control teams. So you might want to pair this with like a Gothitelle, or any other Pokemon that can trap. I wouldn't recommend Wobbuffet, but yeah, this is a really interesting set, and I honestly think it's really, really cool. The final set I have for you guys today is Choice Specs. Now, this set takes advantage of that strange speed stat we have. No one really expected it to be this fast, but uh, going with Choice Specs, uh, we're going to be doing a lot of damage with both of our stat moves. Nothing wants to switch in on a Flash Cannon. Nothing wants to switch in on a Draco Meteor. Uh, especially if we're a modest nature with max speed, max special attack, and four special defense investment nothing takes anything well uh of course with such little bulk we're not going to be taking earthquakes from excadrill or uh you know super effective ground type moves from gastrodon uh and fighting type moves are kind of off the table if you have an intimidate support pokemon you'll be able to deal with it but because we have plus one on our special attack set of 120 uh with the modest nature at all times this thing is going to be really nice for cleaning up at the end of the game and something to note about dynamaxing with this pokemon especially if you're the choice spec set uh dynamaxing allows you to use whatever move you want um you know the d max version of that uh for those three turns but after those three turns are up you're no longer locked into your original move you're able to switch what move you were using before so that's an insane buff to choice pokemon in general and duraldon is definitely one of those pokemon you're going to want to take advantage of but yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think about Duraldon in the comment section down below. Let me know what you, th what you think about these sets I've made. And let me know if you guys are enjoying these moveset videos. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. All of my social media is linked in the description down below. I have a Twitch, a Twitter, a Discord. And if you want to meet other people within the community, get some raid battles in, get some trades, get some best of threes, go ahead and check out that Discord. 
But with that, guys, I'm going to call it. Everyone have a nice night, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.